Hello and welcome back to My Sims 2 uh, White Legacy Edition. We're just going to let her do her assignment because she wants to and I'm not really sure why else besides that. He's just having some fun. I recorded the wrong video. Was putting it up and realized that no, that's the video due to go out tomorrow morning. So, yeah. I'm going to try not to be too rushed when I'm doing this. And So far, I really have... Um, by the way, in the comments, I'm, I'm going to put this in probably every Sims 2 video. If you see the return of the glitch, please let me know. Because so far, it seems to be I can't save in between. Like, I can't save and then start fraps over again or something. So far. It could have been something with the video card and perhaps or something because there's been updates since then but please let me know if you see its return I have no idea where she's gonna put it where are you gonna put it okay good that's fine go go to class go to class now when does he okay he can go take care of himself all right he's going to go do that um when does he have class? So, right, let's see. His is at one. So he's got time to take care of everything that he needs to take care of. Whoa. I will be so glad to get more RAM. Now here's the funny thing about that. So, so let me discuss something. Um, the Sims 2 and The Sims 3 are 32-bit games. What that means is that there's a certain, like, even if I were to get more RAM, they don't technically know it's, know it's there. So, like, they just have their set, num set amount of RAM that they can use, and that will never go up. However, what the RAM will help with is background stuff, like your, uh, you know, any of the operating system stuff. He doesn't actually need to that. He can just wash his hands. So, so yeah, so basically that's how that's going to help is stuff in the background, stuff the computer's doing just to stay on. Uh, fraps will um, benefit, so yeah. Now, am I going to have him? Yeah, he still needs to do that. So study cooking right yeah okay so he's just gonna study some cooking right now and because I really want him to be happier and unfortunate weather I was talking do you mind are you done okay thank you so it's probably not done by the way so I want him to basically work on this goal. She is way far away, but that's okay because we're setting her up for her lifetime goal. So we'll have one who can remain... Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Did somebody not clean something? Do you have neat points? Hold on. No? You don't care. So why are you mad? Somebody did something to upset him and he's mad and I don't know why. So there you go. Anyhow, it's so... Yeah, he, um, he unfortunately doesn't care about college, about university, and really you're, if you don't like university, and you don't see a reason to use it, and you think it gets boring, and you don't feel like using a mod to speed through it, honestly, the only Sims that really, really care about university, and will be the most upset by it, are your, uh, Okay, I don't think that's the right name for their aspiration. But your knowledge aspiration and your fortune... That's all right. Hold on. I don't think I'm trying to use the white word. Because I think I'm trying to use what it was. But anyways, really, the your knowledge sims care because they, they... School, learning, love it. Maybe it is fortune. But, um... Mm. 
So, and here's his stalker again. So let's see. Because this is going to bug me. Fortune, it is fortune. Um, so fortune cares because it helps them make more money and it helps them start out better. Um, okay. Better with uh, their jobs. So they care about that. All right, let's go here. And um, so everybody's, there we go, perfect. Put that down. Actually, okay, you only have an hour, so you can't really do too much. So we'll just mark that. But um, so every, every aspiration is going to get a negative. And technically, you can argue that Every aspiration, um... Why is it? Woo is it? Well, I was trying to get something to, to... Oh, okay, I went straight to the page. Mm. Alright. You can argue that... Any aspiration will benefit from it, because... Um, you can use it to get friends. Okay. You two need to chill. You can use it to get friends for your popularity sims. You can use it to get lovers for your romance sims. And, um stuff like that so it's really useful for everybody but and they're all gonna get negative they're all gonna get negative memories if they don't go but if you're if you really really don't like it and you're trying to figure out well who can like how can I make this easier on myself yeah go to class did did she come back did somebody pass out I don't know what happened Oh, hey, she's back. Good, okay. Let's go ahead. Let's just be strategic right now. You want... Eat the omelet. Eat the omelet, because I say so. So, but basically you're going to have an easier time uh, with any aspiration but knowledge not going. So, yeah. And, again, that's up to you. Like, if you... You know, don't care one way or the other, or if you have something you're working on with your sims, then, yeah, that's fine. But, like, it, it will definitely benefit them, because it will give you more time to work on skills, on friends, as I said before. <clears throat> but I really don't like it, so... I mean, that's sad. I know, it really is. Oh, she wants to finish her homework. Oh, she lost the... Well, that's okay. Because she'll have homework started so that she can finish it and get credit for it. Cool. And, like I said, if, if you still want to do it, but you want to make it easier on yourself, you can cheat with a mod called the College Adjuster. Now, I need to go through and just put in the names of all of my mods um, in the playlist for The Sims 2, and that way you can go, most of them are from the same place, and I don't want to be kind of anti-anybody, but I've heard that if, like, some of the forums are, are um, this one place that I get a lot of mine at are very... How do I put this? Like, they want you to know a lot about what you're coming to them for. If they think you have a stupid question, yeah, we'll just put it that way. 
Um, so, you could probably just Google specific questions with that and find any problems that you might have if you decide to download it. Um, honestly, of the, the mods that I've downloaded for The Sims 2, I've had very little issue. The one thing I'm going to talk tell you about is if you get the in-team mod, yeah, there's different add-ons for it. And one of them really does weird things with your teenagers um, and college. And it's not a big deal in the sense of, like, some people just play it as, oh, well, they stopped going to high school, they're 18, they have a span of time before they go to college, you know, kind of thing. Well, but that can also mess up your college transition. So when you go to college, it's not, uh, you don't actually have your care, your sim become a young adult. They don't start college. And if you bring a teenager to visit, if they sit there too long, they'll become a young adult. It's some weird things. So you, that one's really, really about finding the, they're called flavor packs that suit you. And that's kind of what I talked about in a previous video with someone, taking someone else's mod setup and being like, oh, I'm just going to copy and paste that onto, into my game. You don't, you want to take control. See, I'm, I'm a control freak in a lot of ways. And I really like to take control of what's in my game to the, so that if a problem comes up, I know exactly what to get rid of. It's just that simple. Okay, yeah, you need that. You need that for your class, so just go ahead and do that. So, uh, you know, I don't want to put anybody's setup in mine, and if anybody's like, oh, I love this setup, I always kind of have yays or nays about that. Like, the thing I was talking about with the, um, the in-teen thing, kicking your teenagers out of school at a certain, out of high school at a certain point, and that's something some people like because it gives realism to the fact of, oh, okay. And it also gives them a point to say, now I can send my teenagers off to college because there's no point to keep them at home. Hello, Streaker. Bye, Streaker. But for me, it was just annoying. I didn't like it. So, there you go. And that part of things conflicted with another aspect of... No, having to fix that conflicts with an aspect of, that I got in Teen 4. So it's kind of like you, you really have to know what you want. And I think that's the biggest thing with uh, any sort of mods, any sort of custom content in The Sims, is that you really need to know what you're getting into in case you have to fix that, in case you need to remove it. Because, um, for example, I had that hair that messed up my Simster game. I can't get it removed. Well, okay. If that is the hair that caused the problem, I cannot remove it. It won't remove. So I have to wait until I reinstall the game on another computer. Is it worth it for me? For the most part, yeah, because usually I don't care. I'll just age them up from babies and I won't worry about the glitch. But there are times when I'm like, I'd really rather just let them stay babies and you know, yeah. So, you have to really kind of know what you want for your game, I think. So. And that's to me why the Sims, like, uh, I was watching a countdown show, and they didn't put the Sims on the most modded games list, and I was like, not even as a, a mention. And I was like, are you kidding me? Because that's what the Sims, like, is. Yay! He maxed his logic. Woot! Okay, now so he can go take care of these things over here. So, I mean, to me, that's what The Sims is about, is customization. Making the game yours. Because I think that's part of... Did she do it? She did it! Yay! Okay, so she wants to sell a masterpiece. I can lock that one, I guess. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna pass out. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have him eat something. 
just because. And, uh... Let's see if I can get him some more skill time. Okay, there we go. So she is... She's just going to finish this to see if she can sell it and uh, get that. I don't think it's going to masterpiece yet. Let's see. Bye. 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 Okay. She also wants... Um, Max Enthusiasm in Arts and Crafts. So, I'm going to try to get that f fulfilled before she goes to bed. If I can. But yeah, like, I mean, uh, to me, that's what The Sims are all about. Is making it personal. Because, like, you, you could have the same game packs. The same expansion packs. The same stuff packs. All these things on different people. It's game. And... The gameplay be nothing alike. Because one pe person might be someone who doesn't like mods. One person might be someone who, you know, just likes custom content. So they have hair clothes. Some person might be into every single mod they can think of. Okay, this camera. This camera, though. Alright, here we go. That's the one thing, like, The Sims 3 to me has the best camera situation going on of any of the of them but yes yeah, so it's really important to me that like putting what mods i have in somewhere so that you can see and you can ask specific questions about them if you have questions hopefully i'm not going to mess anything up because i'm trying to get something off my keyboard really phone i'm not i'm not even about you right now what is, is he coming over here? Not yet. Okay, cool. And what time? Hers is like at 9? 8, okay. Cool. Can you just stop calling? There we go. He's coming over this way. Yes, I know. You. Okay. A thought of mine, I think, got cut off in one of the videos. So basically, without the um, mod that I have in, what's supposed to happen is, is they're supposed to go into their rooms. And I think they get a uh, mod, uh, mod. I think they get a uh, need refill. Man, everybody's passing out. So, if they are smart enough, they will go to their rooms and get their knees refilled. Man, everybody's passing out. Okay. Okay. And I, I think that's what the, um... Sell it. I know. I know. It's sad. They don't know what to do to protect... to take care of themselves. Yay! She did it! Excellent. Buy a drum kit. Okay. Maybe. Alright, there we go. You can just make some money so that we can take some money home. I'm gonna go ahead, I think. Let her get started on that. And have her just go and go to sleep. Because... That way she can just get up, take care of everything, go to class. We'll stick with him right now. Again? Really? But yeah, I believe that's, that's kind of how their needs get taken care of, is they can go into their rooms, but they should go in there on their own. So, I'm not sure why they don't. Because the mod doesn't stop them from going into their rooms. I don't know if I'll end up keeping it or not. It's just something that, like... For me, it's going to be weird to go to the same college and have the exact same people there. So, because that's kind of the thing about the, universi the, the way university is in Sims 2. 
is there's no aging here. Now there's no aging in The Sims 3 either. But it's handled a little bit differently because The Sims 3, I, I'll have to make sure of this, but I think it periodically like moves people around and how far they are in their studies um, and stuff like that. But that may be the mod that I have to control story progression. So, yeah, it, it's kind of one of those things of, because I've been playing with mods so long, it's very ingrained into my understanding of the game. So sometimes I don't know some of the differences without mods. I mean, obviously there are some mods where you know the differences, like, it's just that simple, but, yeah. She's probably going to wake up way too early, but that's okay. Um, that's the only th thing that is a big... We're just gonna let him do that. Okay, I think we can have him stop right now. And I think we will call this a video. What we're gonna concentrate on, let's see, so where are we at now, right now? So they are 20, 41 hours until the final exam. Okay. Let's see where they are. So, he honestly needs some charisma after cooking. So, we might have to stop the cooking, and which is fine because that'll be a boost to him before they go back home. There we go. Let's see what she's looking like. So, she needs to work on logic next and cleaning. Okay, cool. So... That's where we're going to go for her and for him is, like I said, we're just using this as much uh, to get as many skills as possible. Hopefully, uh, uh, okay, I did not tell you to do that. Let's see. Okay, you're just going to sleep. Okay, fine, good. Um, I'm hoping that when we have their children come to university, we have a bit more diversity in what they want to do and a bit more diversity in how to approach university. Like, for example, if you have a popularity sim, you really want to be making friends, you don't worry much about homework, um, have, you know, influence someone to do your term paper for you, that sort of thing. So, yeah, um, if you have any name suggestions for this family because they will be going home, in, f I think, about four episodes. So, yeah. So, name suggestions for their children. Uh, naming themes for the series. Please let me know about that. Um, I did talk about Sims 2 Genetics. So, let me know if you have any more curiosity about that. And I can find that detailed Sims 2 Genetics description. And put a link to it. It is on LiveJournal, but... Uh, I've not had a, like, that journal seems fine, as in they're not going anywhere. So, hopefully anyways, because a lot of people have left. So, if I can find that, I will put it in a link. If I, if something should happen to it, I will make up, like, a, I'll try to make a backup copy of at least the important bullet points. And, uh, so that, because I think it's very important, I think it's very interesting, some of the rules for, inheritance in this game as compared to the others. So thank you for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed and I hope you will join me in the next one. Thank you.